Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure you're aware, over the years we've had some great music here at the club and this last week is no exception to that fact. I'd just like to thank the guys for coming along and giving us a great week of music. Ladies and gentlemen, the Notting Hill Billies. The Notting Hill Billies are played by Mark Loughlin. Mark Loughlin and the Notting Hill Billies. Thank you. Oh, yes, now we have the David, uh, David Higgins who's been entertaining you with some enormously good saxophone players. Uh, he's putting his career on the line tonight, his reputation and everything. And any, anybody who's old enough to remember that when we were doing the straight skits, Chris White, another wonderful saxophone player. Say that quickly at this time. Hill person,
another Jurassic one from the first records, probably from the 20s, again, which is completely ruined by us. Oh.
excited. Yeah, yeah, it's just one of those nights. <laughs> you wouldn't go and get excited. So from a, a country blues to a, a sort of a more countryfied thing. And uh, I'm very proud to say my friend Jack Atkins recorded this song and um, so did the wonderful Everly Brothers. And the Mr. Rizos didn't record it. <laughs> but Nana Muscuri did. Now you didn't know that. It's a good one for each Okay. There's a bit of Buddy Holly influence in here as well, I suppose. Oh, sure. The one that's <laughs> Yeah, that's Buddy, that's Buddy. Right.
another one from the first. First record that the Strays did. For 59 or whatever. by a couple of people, I can't remember who now, I think, oh, all right? Okay, that's... There's that too too! No, 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 no. The judge, yeah, the judge, he said, he knows who it is. Because he's counting the royalty.
Sir, he's going away. No, you come back. You come back when you're Please come back. Steve's bringing his expensive guitar out now to sing in. The old blues. Some of me and Mark have been playing uh, uh, for 40 or 50 years now. Yeah, at least. Uh, since we're knee hard to a duck. But it does it to me every time, darling, you know. It really does. It's such a sweet little tune.
Steve Phillips. He's played before.
Oh. Okay, now, um, a bit of wolf yesterday, is that what it is? Yeah. So now, if you will remember, please, uh, lovely people, the, uh, the, there's these lovely uh, staff that uh, work here who look, look after us really well, and every break they bring in bottles of cheap wine for us to drink. And they've been so kind. And they look good. And they're, oh, yes, they're terribly handsome as well. You probably noticed them walking around. Looking after you, I do remember it's hip to tip. We are um, going to go back and have a cup of tea now for about 15 minutes. So it's, uh, that, they're not eccentric rich, they need it. And um, have an aspirin and we'll be back. <laughs>
Again, the expense of his reputation. Uh, 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 you know a lot so the year that I was born, he was forming his first band. And he's one of the godfathers of British rock and roll music, actually, because he was the bass player on Rock Island Line, on Lonnie Donegan, which was the first big sort of rock and roll record this country ever had. And he went on to play a lot more with Lonnie and to then form his own band. And uh, he's a great musician, and we love having him. Chris Barber. Honorary Billy now. On this song, I'm going to uh, on this song, I'm going to imitate an instrument called a dulciola, which is like a wardrobe with strings and pedals attached. Brendan is going to um, just yes, Brendan just going to do the Ronnie's zither, and he's going to make a, a sound like a mandolin usually when he's not making the sound of the jug or jug bands. So he's really adept at doing all sorts. I'll do the jug if you want. Well, let's, let's compare jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the gigantic. Uh, Guy is going to play national guitar there because he's just a show off and brilliant at anything he does. <laughs> he also sings like a girl. I'll do the lights with my feet as well. Won't you? <laughs>
singing that song. Yes, you better have Jesus. I'll tell you that is all.
Chris has got to have a lie down, but he will be back.
Désolé. Guy's going to do a bit more showing off now, bring out his lap steel, there it is, and all its glory. Steve's retiring to the country. Never the what else, anybody playing any different instruments? Chris is back again, which is nice. I have two Chris's. Chris and Chris. Chris.
could, you know, go and play the piano like that as well, you know. But he's not going to tonight.
So now Steve loves Elvis songs, as we all do, and he suggested we do this Elvis song, which was always a perfectly good Elvis song until we did it. Mr. Block, come along. Besides Glenn. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Yes, yeah, so I want to introduce now an inspirational fiddle player, Bobby Valentino. So now, yes, this was a. Uh, yes, it's lovely to see you back in men's clothes. Uh, but now we're. Um, so now it's become just what was a really nice Elvis tune, a great Elvis tune. It's now become a sort of a uh, African, quite a Mexico tourist band line of But it's kind of, kind of, you know, it's what it is. So it's some people's favourite, you know, Steve. No, they, they come up and tell you. They look like, come on, guys. <laughs>
so Steve's romantic side is going to come out now. And so is Bobby's.
Chris. Another last word there, another line. Chris will be done. R&B swing, uh, country. Beautiful country. Thank you, Brent. Written by Mark. Written by Mark. Loved by us. Nobody's perfect. Kissy Queen. That Ray's going to get you. Five hundred. Every damn place. Five hundred. <laughs>
is another country thing that's been done by a pile of people. And that tests us mentally every time we take it on.
Valentino. Very kind, very sweet. Nothing hillbillies, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Knuffler and the Nothing Hillbillies. You've asked for it now. Sorry about that. My hand jammed temporarily. I've just been to give some WD-40. Okay, now we're going to play all the instruments of the orchestra together because Chris is here. So just the three of us are going to attempt it because we're British.
<laughs> this is one that Brendan sang his way back from the pub one night. So we recorded him. Lord, I feel like
Thank you, Chris. Wonderful stuff. Just pull me around. I'm really proud to say again that, uh, you know, Chet, my good friend Chet, before he got ill lately, he used to finish his sh show with this tune, and uh, so did, uh, before he got ill, the, also the great Tony Cash. Well, you've been really nice.
Tim Hilburn is ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kai. Mark Knopfler and the Nothing Hillbillies. Two days rehearsal. Thank you very much.